So you are trans? Yes, I am. And you are happy? Yes, I'm finally happy. Why? Uh, conversation over. I just left the hairdresser. You know what that means? New style, new smile, new cornrows, with beads. They talk to each other in the gentlest noise. Each movement I make brings forth clicks of joy. Cornrows with beads making soft, soothing sounds. My hair keeps on growing, my contentment abounds. Boy, I thought you were the kind of girl who knew when to say when. I don't really know what kind of girl I am. You're a part-time love friend, a full-time friend. The monkey on your back is the latest trend. I don't see what anyone can see. This is just a friendly reminder that the term rest in power was created and used to eulogize black and black queer activists who died as according to hate crimes or in their fight for liberation and activism. We are Palestinians. Of course we're gonna let you know about it every two minutes. We're Palestinian. Of course we do dubcat every wedding. We're Lebanese. Of course we're, we're Palestinians. Of course we talk politics 24-7. We're Palestinian. Of course we're gonna argue about how to pronounce Knafe. We're Lebanese. Of course. We're Palestinian. Of course we have the flag in our bio. We're Lebanese. Of course we- There are so many brands that are on the boycott list that it can be difficult to remember the specific reasons why we are boycotting them. So here is a list of some of those brands and how they are complicit in the genocide that is happening right now. Coca-Cola has a plan in the illegal settlement of Atarot. And they have also been very generously donating supplies to the military. They have also publicly shown support on their social media of IS, sharing photos of the military receiving supplies, as well as having a 57 year history of supporting the apartheid state. These are some other brands that are also owned by Coca-Cola. Papa John's Pizza Hut and Domino's Pizza have all publicly shown support on their social media for is and have shared images of them giving their pizzas to soldiers. McDonald's, probably one of the most well-known boycotts on social media right now. McDonald's has proudly boasted that they have donated over 100,000 meals to the military and security forces since the beginning of the genocide, which is worth over 1.3 million US dollars. And they are giving soldiers 50% discounts. They have opened five new restaurants just for this purpose. They have hired one of Iz's top five law firms to issue lawsuits to anyone that suggests that they have given food to the residents of Gaza. Boycott McDonald's. Burger King has also shown support on social media and they have said, our teams are working diligently to continue donating thousands of meals to our heroes. Disney has donated 1 million US dollars to Iz, and Marvel's new Captain America film features Sabra, who is a superhero personifying apartheid Iz. And through this, Marvel is promoting Iz's oppression of watermelon. I will be making another part to this because I feel like it's important that we all know where our money is going. Put your money where your heart is and boycott brands that support genocide. We see these horrible images out of Gaza. Ramadan's coming up, and there's been an agreement by the Israelis that they would not engage in activities during Ramadan as well in order to give us time to get all the hostages out. That gives us time to begin to move in directions that a lot of Arab countries are prepared to move in. For example, Saudi Arabia is ready to recognize Israel. Jordan is... Egypt. Uh, anyway, Israel ultimately survives, and I make no bones about it. I get criticized for having said a long time ago, you need not be a Jew to be a Zionist. I'm a Zionist. Were there no Israel, there's not a Jew in the world to be safe. Mom calls me up. She's like, did you watch Seth Meyers? And I was like, what happened? And I was like, oh yeah, look at this. So he goes on Seth Meyers, gets so many applause. People are like, be my grandpa. And I'm like, that's weird. But anyways, Americans, I don't understand them sometimes. So funny. So he says, yeah, an agreement by the Israelis that they would not engage in activities during Ramadan. So that I get why everybody was applauding him. They were cheering him on because they're going to put this genocide on like a little pause and just respect the holy month. Oh, what's that dot dot dot? There's more to say over here in order to give us time to get all the hostages that 
that is the Zionist attitude I was looking for, the self-serving. That's what we're all used to, Biden. Don't you try to go off track and be all noble. So yeah, I mean, you know, it's been how long with the most advanced military systems in the world still haven't been able to find those hostages? That's interesting. Hamas narrative, I mean, that is just stale. This narrative, hostage one, is also getting very stale, just so you know. But I mean, you know what? You're just like, yes, they we're being so kind to all these Arabs, to all these Palestinians, giving them one month off. It's okay, so maybe that one month off will allow for more Jews out of Israel to convert to Islam. Did you know that? All time high conversion rate coming out of Israel and the United States of America, people seeing the faith, the Iman of Muslims around the world. Um, so yeah, I guess our boy turned Muslim. I'm <laughs> just joking. Yeah, we gonna get you. <laughs> I'm just joking. We gonna get you. All right, I get it. Fine. You're all without fathers, all right? I, I'm I, not. I love my dad. <laughs> Guessing what different jelly cats would study at uni just by looking at them. It's so obvious to me that she studies travel and tourism. Mechanical engineering with a sandwich year in industry. He's doing maths. Look at that face and tell me he doesn't love a sum. Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic. If not that, then medieval history. And you know what? He loves a Cayley. If there's a Cayley on, he'll be in attendance. Sorry, but she studies English. He lives in halls, but no one actually knows what he studies. He comes out late at night to cook his fish fingers, but he doesn't like to engage in any conversation. History of art, no need to expand. Game design. Criminology. He's like the chancellor of the university. Geology. She's doing a master's in education. Sports science. Film studies. Where's my drink? What drink? My drink? My diet, Dr. Kelp? Don't tell me you forgot my drink! But you didn't order any- How am I supposed to eat this pizza without my drink?! I don't think you guys are understanding just how dystopian the Alabama IVF ruling actually is. If you think this only affects people who are wealthy enough to do IVF so that they can have a child, think again because this affects everyone. If they are saying a fertilized egg, an embryo is a human being, everybody who has eggs right now could be charged with child endangerment. There is no way for you to know if you have a fertilized egg within you at any point. At any point, someone could say you speeding is child endangerment. They could say you drinking alcohol is child endangerment. They could say you going for a jog is child endangerment. The jump from every embryo is a person to every human woman or a person with eggs is potentially carrying a person within them to we need to surveil and control women's every move is actually not a big jump at all. It's actually the logical next conclusion. Are you gay? Yes, I am. Are you gay? Yes, I am. Are you gay? No. Are you gay? Yes, I am. Are you gay? You? Yes. Are you gay? Yes. Are you gay? Yes. Having a good time? Yes. Are you gay? Yes. Having a good time? Right on. You bet. Are you gay? Of course, why not? Are you gay? Yes. Are you gay? Are you gay? I definitely am gay. Yeah. You sure? I'm positive. I'm positive. Yes, I am. Yes. Oh, yes. Of course. I consider myself a bisexual person. I'm sexually turned on to men and women, and also that I think I think I'm politically committed to men and women. Yes, I am. Forever. Yes, forever. Well, I'm of every persuasion and type, and I don't think that uh, popular myths should be limited to one particular viewpoint. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No. Sure. No. Are you straight? No. <laughs> yeah. I am. 
Hmm? <laughs> no? No. I could be, but I haven't had any experience. No, well, I can't really restrict myself to just being gay. I'm, uh, I'm not straight either. And I'm not uh, bi, really. I, I consider myself pansexual. Oh, yes, I am. Today I'm more than gay. Today I'm jubilant. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favorite drink? Water with a lemon slice. What's your favorite food? Water with a lime slice. What's your guilty pleasure? Water with a cucumber slice. Favorite dessert? Carrots. Cis and cisgender is a slur. It's a slur and no one should use it. I only believe in like two genders, like decide people josh i told you not to call me a tranny like you can only do that sometimes okay i might be a trans woman but that's just like a man i'm just like a part man i think trans women should not be in the women's bathroom <laughs> honestly you can say that you identify as a dog if you want to it's the same thing as being trans my boyfriend is gay my flag isn't the pride flag it's the american flag I got bottom surgery, so obviously my kitty is better than cis girls. <sighs> you can call me she male if you want to. In all honesty, I don't think trans people should have rights. Like, yeah. I am a male. A male. Yeah. A biological male. And that makes me a man. Look, I only care about science. So if you got no science backing your identity, then we can't have a conversation. Also, like, if I want to keep it, I could because I'm passable. I don't think trans women should be in females' friendly, safe spaces. Because at the end of the day, we're men. So you want to get a little frisky, but you're worried about how your kitty cat looks. <laughs> Firstly, it should be said that all kitty cats are beautiful. There's not one right way for a kitty cat to look. Kitty cat videos online might have you believing that all cats are supposed to look one way, which is typically kitten-like, you know, small and hairless. And if that's how you like to keep your kitty cat, power to you, power to you. Remember, I was so concerned about it that when one of my friends in high school told me that she had gone to the kitty cat cafe for the first time, the first thing I asked her was, how fluffy was your cat? Like that was my biggest concern because I was like, how fluffy should my cat be? And then I proceeded to spend a lot of years trying to figure out how to best groom my cat, but if there is something that I could tell my younger self, it would be that kitty cats come in all shapes, sizes, colors, hair types, hair lengths. And at the end of the day, the person that you were visiting the cat cafe with is probably just excited that they're getting to pet a cat at all. Because as someone who goes to the cat cafe to pet the cats, I'm just excited to be there. And I think a lot of other people feel the same way. And if I were to get very specific with young Lauren, I would say, hey girl, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Something I would suggest is looking into, let's call it um, a dog trimmer. I think that if, if men trust a dog trimmer with their sensitive dogs, I trust it with my cat. But at the end of the day, your cat is perfect the way it is. And what matters is how you feel most confident about it. And I'm telling you right now, anybody who comes and gets to play with cats with you is a lucky son of a gun, okay? I promise it doesn't look as weird as you fear. I, it probably doesn't look weird at all. Honest question, genuine question. Why don't leftists care about masking? Why aren't supposed radical, socially conscious people, why aren't they masking? Like, we're in a full-on pandemic raging, disabling hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions. We care about liberation, but not for the disabled. 
I, I just, I don't, I genuinely do not understand the dissonance. We claim to care about communal safety, but like not about community when it comes to a virus that's spreading and acts like HIV in a lot of ways. COVID, it's a damaging virus. It's truly a damaging virus. And the denial and the passivity of leftist people in masking, I just, I, I can't, I can't grasp it, man. Our government has lied to us about everything, but they haven't withheld things about COVID. Like COVID's the thing that we can trust them on. I'm at a loss. I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm just, I just don't get it. <laughs>